Our hymn will be number 697, O God, Almighty Father, number 697. O God, Almighty Father, Creator of all things, the heavens stand in wonder while earth your glory sings. O most holy Trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. O Jesus, word incarnate, Redeemer most adored, all glory, praise, and honor be yours, O Sovereign Lord. O most holy Trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And I'm Father Kevin Ripley. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be here. Now, as a priest celebrating Mass, I um, grew up over in Pulaski, uh, my parents are in front here, and my grandpa, um, and uh, they had since moved to Bellevue, so now we're living in Bellevue, and good to be near you all. Thank you for your prayers for vocations over the years. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant I have put down the enthroned, my hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing or opened a mouth or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? 
as if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff who is not a wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory there will be kindling, like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, the Lord sees not. The God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance, but judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. The saint for today is Saint Bonaventure, a great theologian and doctor and bishop of the church. The thing with doctors of the church that gets me, so doctors of the church means that they've contributed something so beneficial to the church that it healed the church at a particular time or it sent it on a better path or it sent or it um, improved the life of the Christians of the church. So various reasons to be doctors of the church, but it seems that most doctors are usually very, very smart. They're very um, wise and all this. But one thing about them also is that in the end, the doctors of the church are pretty simple because they've grown so close to God who is simple. It seems sometimes in, in our lives, I know for me, I, I can complicate things very much so, you know, be worried about all sorts of things or trying to figure out what to do or 
whatever it is, things get complex in life. Like we all experience complexity. In our nation, seems can, things can seem to get very complex. Um, prayer life, when we pray, sometimes we can think that it's so complex, but it's so simple. Right? In the end, prayer is lifting our hearts to God. In the end, living in a society comes down to the rule of love. Love God and love neighbor. And the simplicity is revealed to the childlike, right? our Lord says in the gospel. I, although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. So in all things, we are to approach our Heavenly Father as his children, as his sons and daughters, especially when things appear to become so complex, is to acknowledge, ah, Lord, you are simple. Simplify my life. Simplify everything. Because Jesus also said, Father, such has been your gracious will. The will of God is the guiding thing in our lives if we are seeking to be simple in our walk with God. Right? There is one thing we can look for each day that's to seek to do the will of God. Right? The will of God, yes. Love God, love neighbor. Follow the commandments. Um, follow those things that the church has laid out for us. However, in each moment of our lives, God's will is there for us. And he loves us. So let's keep it simple. Look to God. Look to follow his will. And be like children before him always. And trust in him. Let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father who always hears us. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop Ricken. May they be guided ever more and more by the Holy Spirit in guiding us closer to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the whole church. May all her members trust in our Heavenly Father as children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for our government leaders. May the Holy Spirit guide them in making decisions to bring about the common good for all, especially those who are most vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for those who are suffering, those who are sick. May the Lord draw them near to himself, heal them, and raise them up. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for more vocations, more answers to the call of God, to the vocations of priesthood and religious life, and also holy marriages. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the intention of this Mass, Gertrude Pomeroy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear and answer these petitions of your faithful people according to your most holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the, work, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, on the feast day of blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed. He himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your Good death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bonaventure and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Say our prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you you led led the Holy Family, family, watch watch over our families, families, help our our family and all families families to know and and share God's God's love. In our our family family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our Our fathers fathers help us to become faithful faithful disciples of Jesus who who share our love for him. him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raised Jesus the High Priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. We pray uh, Hail Mary for Father, now Father Ben Johnson. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. And for more responses of yes to the priesthood and religious life, especially from this parish. Hail Mary, full Full of grace, grace, the the Lord Lord is with thee. Blessed Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you very much for having me again, um, Deacon Jeff and Father Dennis. It's a pleasure to pray with you this morning. And I'm trying to figure this thing out. Okay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Number 697. O oh God, the Holy Spirit, who lives within our soul, Send forth the light and lead us to our eternal goal. O most holy Trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored.